Hello, crypto traders and YouTubers out there. This is CoinPicker.us with a crypto financial and economic update and predictions for May 12th, 2019. Happy Mother's Day to uh, you and yours, who are who uh, ever out there is uh, sharing the joy of Mother's Day. Anyway, getting into one of the great new trends that, fortunately, the CoinPicker.us service called right on the money is the rise in Bitcoin and cryptos. We called it when the market was at roughly 120 billion market cap. I have to double check, but that's about right. 3,500-ish area was when we said we we're at the bottom. And we sent out a update to our subscribers. The subscription is free. Just go to coinpicker.us. I'll put the link in the description and sign up and you'll get those kinds of alerts. For the paying subscribers, we give them more details and we have a uh, advanced algorithm system, but I'm not going to go into that right now. So stay tuned because we're going to talk about where we expect to see the market uh, going in the future. Uh, basically, it's good news. So one of the things that we've, we noted was that there's been a trend towards Bitcoin exceeding the altcoin volume and advance. Now, there are a few altcoins. And I, I call an altcoin virtually anything but Bitcoin uh, that have done very, very well. EOS is not one of them. EOS has been, he been held back somewhat. Litecoin has been doing very, very well. Bitcoin Cash has been doing very well. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion that Bitcoin Cash is doing well because people, some people cannot afford to invest in Bitcoin or buy a full Bitcoin. And so they're choosing Bitcoin Cash alternatively, though Bitcoin Cash is a is a verifiable and sustainable cryptocurrency and useful. So it's got it's got significant functionality equal to or better than Bitcoin, but I think that's one of the aspects that's keeping that's helping Bitcoin cash significantly. Ethereum caught a bid for a little while. I don't know that that Ethereum bid is a long-term long-term prospect. EOS I think in June should have a bigger jump. So we're not very far away from it. But essentially, what the charts are telling us now, and this is one of the ways that I was able to, to decisively say to my subscribers and on YouTube that the bottom was in. It was time to get back into the market. And if you followed that advice, you got in at 3500 you have doubled your money. In fact, you could have done more than double because Bitcoin has retraced a little bit, as we see in this chart here. It has gone down. But you don't necessarily have to sell in and out of the market. I think we've got a good trend in place. If you were to look, and I use a variety of indicators as those of you who have followed me are aware, but if you were to look at the CCI, you might have been head faked out because it had spiked up to a level. This is the commodity channel indicator index. You might, it has spiked up to a level that typically indicates a sell point. However, the reason that... I had ignored it and I didn't alert subscribers to sell out was because of the strength of the trend from when we level leveled out in the 35 area. Now, this is a this is a total crypto market cap, so it's not the 30 it's not 3500, it's say 120 billion, 117 billion that area, but we leveled out in that area and we bumped up dramatically and started moving hit 140 billion very quickly, retraced somewhat, leveled out again. And this is typical for a strong developing bull market. If we had bounced all the way up here and we'd seen the commodity channel index rise dramatically, I would have said sell, takes the profits, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a a, uh, a nosebleed drop. And that's probably what would have happened. But we didn't. We had a nice steady move up. This is a little bit more than I would normally be comfortable with. Uh, because it is a rather dramatic pop up. However, again, we're, we were in a, a trend reversal situation. And one of the aspects that's characteristic of the crypto market that isn't characteristic of a lot of other markets is that it tends to stay above the top line of the commodity channel. It doesn't go through cycles like this as often as, as one would think. It tends to stay above for long periods of time. And that's, that's what we saw here. I mean, normally this would have been a retracement back down and it's back up. So I've included a new indicator that helps gauge these kinds of markets. And it's an oscillator. And essentially what the oscillator, the oscillator, if you, if you 
could see it here, was showing that there was tremendous building strength here. And that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. We've got the same reading here. We have tremendous building strength. Now, um, we've retraced a little bit. I could see us retracing somewhat more, but it's not a waterfall decline or anything like that. The trend line from the low on up is in place by by uh, by every measure, basically. So I, I'm maintaining the buy position on Bitcoin. For those of you that followed it, you've doubled your money in what? Two months, something like that. Came in around here, this area, and uh, right around here. Yeah, so roughly two months. So uh, two to three months, maybe. But so roughly two to three months. But the the bottom line is is that there's more ahead. Now, what's happened is that the alternative currencies, the alternative cryptocurrencies, are not catching the same bid necessarily as Bitcoin. So this is a majors weighted market for now, but soon the smaller cryptocurrencies will catch a bid. So that's very, very big news. Now, I'm going to go to a, another page to try something new and actually uh, present text while I am talking. We'll see how well, see how well that works. Here's one big thing to note. The stock market has an anchor. And that anchor on it is that its past earnings were blowout one-time earnings from the tax changes. So future earnings are likely to disappoint. And so essentially, the stock market is to be shorted. Few exceptions. Now, uh, I, I am not a perma, perma bull or a perma, perma bear. I am simply assessing the issues with various markets and, and I, identifying where to go. Even if you don't short the market, which is, of course, a way with options, even if you don't short the market, <clears throat> if you go long, the only way to be long in my book is long dividend stocks. Over 3%. Energy primarily. That has been my formula for a while. It's been a very good formula. You're also likely to get capital gains as some of the energy stocks move up. But the uh, the idea of speculating for capital gains on a stock that's going to outperform rather than just pay dividends or, or offer a yield is not going to be, in all likelihood, a sound long-term nor a short-term strategy. Why do I say that? Even if the S&P is making new highs, they're small increases, small increases. From the recent bottom to top, so recent bottom to top, you're looking at a few percent, less than 10%. Now, if you're a fund manager, 10% is an amazing year generally. It's fantastic, of course, if the market's doing better. But you're, you're not talking about earth change. You're not talking about significant money when crypto, ha the crypto market has doubled. So which would you rather have, 10% or a double, 2x? That's why when I, tr when I make, if I'm going to trade, it takes as much effort, generally speaking, for me to find a trade that yields two and three and four times as it does to find one that might yield 8%. 8% or something, 9%. In fact, sometimes it even takes more effort to find the 8 or 9%. So that's why I say, even if you're going to be on the long side in the stock market, you don't want to be on the long side without dividends and capital uh, and yields, which come from energy stocks. Now, I pick those stocks for you. Now, the exception, exception, precious metal stocks. Why do I say that? Because very soon, the end of this year, the beginning of next year, we are going to see rapid increases 
in the value of gold and sil silver. And the stocks. Now we've already seen some stocks go up. I picked one for my in the, the uh, subscribers that has already done extremely well. I'm not going to tell you the stock, but if you know, subscribe up to subscribe to uh, CoinPicker.us and you'll you'll get those kinds of updates. It's already done very very well. What you're doing now is you're getting in when it's very cheap to get in, very cheap. You can buy stocks. You can buy top quality stocks at 21 cents a share up to $5 a share. Top quality stocks. What are these going to look like in a year, two years, three years? They could be $10 a share, $50 a share. That's what I'm talking about. Those kinds of returns. They're not crazy at all in the precious metals stock market. Of course, you could also, you could also lose everything. So you can also lose the total investment. So you have to be realistic on it, but I don't, I don't guide my followers or, or provide um, advice on stocks that I think have no merit. They have legitimate professional geologists, they have professional management, they have proven expertise, and they have a legitimate claim <clears throat> that's going to produce, and they're intending to get into the market. That's the most important thing. They're actually intending to develop a mine. So other than precious metal stocks and energy, in the precious metal stocks, you have to be really willing to sit for a while. I am. I'll buy in for a year, six months, year and a half. I don't like to wait two, three, four years, but I'll buy in for a year, six months, year and a half to whatever. And then at, at the end of two years, I will normally have had a pretty significant profit and I'll have to decide whether or not I want to go longer or not. I often go longer because you started out with such a small amount. You could invest a hundred dollars in some of these stocks and wind up with a thousand. You could invest a thousand dollars and wind up with 10, 20,000. It happens. And those are the kinds of stocks I look for. I don't look for it's going to go up 10% or 20%, not in the precious metals market. It's too risky. And when it makes moves, it makes big moves. Now, it can go up at 10 or 20% in a short period of time, and that's fine, but we're not looking for that. We're looking for doubles, triples, and more than that. Now, in the crypto space, it's the same thing. I'm not looking for a 5 and 10% slow rise. I'm looking for a double. I'm looking for a triple. I'm looking for more than that because that's the market we're in. Now, a couple of things. I've talked about commodity, commodities, especially the food space, um, commodity prices going up. Now, what's happened is they did go up for a period of time. It was pretty good trade. Now they've dropped significantly. That is a massive buying opportunity. If you were to look at the analysis on almost any of the food commodities, it will say sell, 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 except one particular indicator and the one that's the most important it's an oscillator it's called a william oscillator but in any case it doesn't i don't want to get into the weeds and that's saying it's a turnaround point coming so you're buying at a point when it's extreme pessimism and everybody says get rid of it it's worthless you're buying at a turnaround point so how do you do that you buy etfs And options. You can also buy, and also potentially you can buy uh, futures if you know what you're doing. I don't generally recommend that people get involved with futures, but you can do it. I, I prefer options and ETFs. The only issue with options is sometimes you can't find enough volume at the price and strike point that you want, but you can, you know, sometimes buy options on ETFs. And we're talking big, big moves that happen in these markets. So right now, wheat is at 423, uh, and it would be, which is not, not what you pay, it's, it's the index value. Uh, when I see the move coming up, it's gonna be a 50% move in short order, in a, in a week, two weeks, a month, two months. Those are the kinds of turns that we're looking at. So foodstuffs, food commodities, set up, for a rocket. That's that's what I that's what I see. So anyway, this I didn't want to go too on too long about this. I'm going to be sending out a, another email blast with more details and a list of the top recommended cryptos that we've got from our algorithm, which has been performing amazingly, basically doubling the market. So if you're not a member, if you join, you get that you get access to that algorithm that 
All you do is pick one from the algorithm, say, do it on a Monday if you want. Now, the algorithm will allow you to trade every day, I meaning it gives you updates every day. But you can just trade once a week. You could even trade once a month if you want. I don't recommend that. Once a week. And you're going to be getting recommendations from our algorithm system, trading system, that have passed certain tests and gone through levels of analysis that indicate that these are going to outperform over a relatively short period of time. And every week you can go ahead and update and buy and sell and switch out. And you'll find that your portfolio will thump the market. will do much, much better than the general market. And we're talking uh, very, very aggressive gains relative to the standard just buy and hold crypto trading. So CoinPicker.us signing out. And I'm glad to be back and giving providing updates the summary is that the crypto market is in a good bull phase it may have a little bit of a pullback here but it, the the general trend is up stock market is to be shorted generally unless you're in energy or dividend paying stocks and precious metal stocks which, which you're going to have to hold on to for a little while not too much longer you're gonna to have to go through the summer season which is usually is not very good and then towards the end of the year you're going to see a pickup and i think 2020 should be a very very good year um, it towards the ends of 2019 should be a good year, but 2020 should be a very, very good year for uh, precious metal stocks. Commodities are tradable right now for, to the upside in a big way. And uh, other than that, it's basically crypto is the major focus. So coinpicker.us signing out and we will talk with you soon.